Hello peeps, today we are going to take an ordinary piece of copy paper and try it three different ways to make it look old. The first technique that I tried was coffee dyeing. Setting your oven at 200 degrees and making coffee, I used Instant. This is from Walmart, but you can use any brand. It doesn't have to be high end. And make it normally. Like you would take your paper and soak it for about 10 minutes and then put it on a cookie sheet into the oven. As you'll notice you get varying degrees of darkness from the coffee. This is a really luscious part right here um, that came from it touching the pan. I also placed a doily on the paper when I put it in the oven and it gave a um, dyeing effect of the doily onto the paper as well as using dilution spray to give some added color here and teal there. You'll notice the lovely crinkle sound that the paper provides um, for those paper enthusiasts. <laughs> and um, even when the paper is torn, you get this really great aging effect. This was an actual um, beige type of paper already, and it came out even darker, which is great. And this is tracing paper. This has a wonderful sound. <laughs> Very crunchy. So I liked coffee dyeing. I like the color that it gave. The second one I did was tea dyeing. I used regular Lipton's. Just a regular bag. I put four of these bags in about three cups of hot water and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to get super dark. And then I would put my paper in and soak it for about 10 minutes. This seemed to take a long time. I don't know why. Here's the difference of when you soak the full paper and then when you take the bag and just run it across your paper. It gives you a different effect, which I actually really like. It did really well on the index cards, which was awesome. Again, that's just running it across. But it did seem to take a long time. I'm not sure why it seems so different. The coloring is also different. You see this gives more of a, like a yellow hue in the back, and this is more of a um, brown coloring. The paper and white is about the same. It all depends on how long you leave it in the oven. Maybe 10 minutes is about all I left it in. Don't want to leave it in too long because then it becomes extra crispy and will tear easily. Again, that's just with the bag. That's soaking the whole paper. Use different types of paper. This grid paper has had a green hue to it. And then this was just white, as you can tell. My favorite paper dyeing method was using balsamic vinegar. This process was so much easier. I didn't need to soak the paper, although you probably could if you wanted an extremely dark paper. I really just took it, dipped it into the balsamic, put it on foil on a cookie sheet into the oven at 200 for about seven minutes. And then I let it air dry to finish it. Here I actually started with the vinegar and incorporated water with it. So you got this nice light. I like the brown, it just seems so warm color. And then I wanted it darker, so then I started adding more vinegar to it, and it began to get darker. Again, doing the same process, just dipping it in. I didn't soak it at all. These are just lovely. And what I loved about it was that you got this leather feel. You don't really have the crunchiness, but you have a different type of paper sound. But it actually made your paper feel thicker and more like leather. Let's see how 
I just love the darkness. So, out of coffee, tea, and vinegar, dying, I would say that this is my favorite and give it a thumbs up.